In this episode of The Butt Chronicles, we take a look at Beavis and Butthead, episode 42, Scared Straight. Uh, welcome to Industrial Industries World Radios, The Butt Chronicles. Uh, you said welcome. Uh, oh god. Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to The Butt Chronicles. Your audio guide to everything Beavis and Butthead. And I'm your host, DJ Glowing Ice. And today we're taking a look at Beavis and Butthead in Scared Straight. It's episode 42, and this first aired on MTV on September 27th, 1993. And at this point, that's all y'all need to know. So, without further ado, let's get right into this in Beavis and Butthead, Scared Straight. The episode starts inside Highland High School inside the office area. As Principal McVicker's secretary types on a computer as she sits at her desk, she then gets a call from the intercom from McVicker's office. As we see McVicker's finger holding down on the intercom, it pans out as it shows him sitting at his desk as he says, Miss Struss, I just got off the phone with the warden at the state penitentiary. We're going to revive the Scared Straight program, and I need to pick out those students who are most likely to run into trouble with the law. McVicker lets his finger off the button, and Miss Stress replies, Do you want to see their files? McVicker holds his finger back down on the intercom button and says, I don't need the files. Bring me the yearbook. Miss Stress, the secretary, is an older woman with gray hair, wearing a red long sleeve shirt. She walks into McVicker's office holding the yearbook in her arm, and she shuts the door. Walking over to McVicker, she hands him the yearbook as he sits at his desk. McVicker opens the book and starts looking through photos of students. He points to one photo of a dude with long hair and a black t-shirt, with a guitar slung over his back, and McVicker says, That kid looks like a criminal. Hey, I know, he says as he starts flipping through the pages. Where are those two kids that flushed every roll of toilet paper in the entire school? You mean Beavis and Butthead? asks Miss Dress. McVicker then finds the page with Beavis and Butthead's photos side by side in the yearbook. Yeah, that's them. Beavis and Butthead. Uh. (laughs) The next scene we see... Beavis and Butthead are standing at an entrance hallway inside of a prison. As a prison guard grabs Beavis's hand that is clenched into a fist and pries his fingers open. The guard then pushes his open hand into an ink pad and then onto a paper sheet to collect his fingerprints. As both the boys now have ink on their hands, they look at each other and put their hands all over each other's faces and bodies, covering each other in ink. Next shot is of Beavis getting a mug shot from the front and then a profile view as he stands next to a wall measuring his height. The mug shot shows ink on his face from Butthead's hands. Then next, the same mug shots are done with Butthead as well. As the boys stand against the measuring wall with the other kids from school, they both hold their hands above their head and stand on their tippy toes to prove they're taller than the other. A prison cell door slams as a shot of a fat guard stands next to a slim but muscular prisoner. The prisoner has a scar on his face, a goatee mustache, and deep sunken in dark eyes. He's wearing a light blue button-down shirt and dark blue pants. The right pant leg is ripped off at the knee as he's wearing a metal prosthetic leg from knee down. The guard says to the prisoner, Use a lot of filthy language. That's the only way to get kids' attention these days. The guard continues, holding up his finger, saying, Hey, do that thing with your eye and your leg, (laughs) and there may be a conjugal visit in for you. The prisoner blinks, making his left eye look in a different direction with every blink. The cell door closes, and the prisoner walks up to all the boys at the measuring mugshot wall, and then he yells, All right, listen, you little You stinking have the freedom I'd kill for, but you little look like the type that'll it up. Beavis and Butthead start laughing. This gets the attention of the prisoner, and he walks up to the boys, casting a shadow on them. What are your names, punks? 
the prisoner yells. Butthead points to Beavis. His is Beavis. Yeah, yeah, and he's Butthead. Beaver and Butthole, how nice. Oh, you boys will love it here in the Slammer. Do you know why they call it the Slammer Butthole? The prisoner then leans into Butthead, as Butthead is now shaking in fear. Oh, so you still think you're bad, huh? Well, you want to know what bad is? The prisoner asks, as he then reaches for his metal prosthetic leg and pulls it off, saying, Bad is getting hit 12 times in the legs trying to escape. Bad is getting a fork stuck in your eye. The prisoner reaches to his face and pulls out a glass eyeball from his right eye socket. He then shows his fake eyeball to Butthead up close, and Butthead leans away from it. So you still think you're bad? The prisoner yells as he stuffs his eyeball back into his head. Huh? The prisoner continues yelling. Butthead then says, Uh, I think I gotta go to the bathroom. Bad. Next, we see the boys in a jail cell with two inmates as Butthead sits on the toilet. One inmate is skinny with a shaved head, and the other is a fatter man with long reddish-brown hair. The cell has cracked tan walls with a bed frame with a mattress to the right and a toilet to the left corner of the room. The inmates, along with Beavis, watch Butthead and laugh as he sits on the toilet trying to take a dump. Butthead, with sweat dripping from his face, he grunts hard. The inmates and Beavis walk up closer to Butthead and continue laughing and saying, <laughs> Look at him! <laughs> Butthead then grunts hard, making his face turn red, and then farts. The fat inmate, hearing Butthead fart, lets out a loud chuckle as he then hands Butthead a roll of toilet paper. Uh, no thanks. That won't be necessary. Seeing an Iron Maiden tattoo on the fat inmate's arm, Beavis says, Whoa, cool tattoo, dude. You're into Iron Maiden? The fat inmate replies, Yeah, man, they're killer. The other inmate with the shaved head adds, Me too, man. <laughs> Butthead still sitting on the toilet says, Maiden rules. Butthead then lets out a huge fart, and we hear a splash from a turd hitting the water in the toilet along with the sound of him urinating as well. We then see a guard standing outside the cell block area. He checks his watch and says, Well, I guess it's time to check on those two kids. They ought to be screaming to get out by now. <laughs> the guard then opens the door, and he hears Beavis and Butthead screaming. Oh no! What are they doing to them? The guard asks himself. Cut to the boys in the cell with the two inmates, and Beavis and Butthead are standing on the bed air guitaring and headbanging as the inmates stand on the floor doing the same thing. Together, all four are singing a song from Iron Maiden. They sing, Not a prisoner, I'm a free man, and my blood is my own now. The guard runs up to the cell and asks, Hey, what the hell are you doing? Hey, look, it's that warden dude. I'm afraid it's time to go, boys, the guard says. No way! That sucks. The guard opens the cell door, and Beavis and Butthead walk out. Butthead says to the inmates, You guys are cool. If we ever get back here, we'll have to party again. And if you ever get out, look us up. The boys then walk off, holding up their hands in the shape of devil horns. Cut to the two inmates in the cell holding up devil horns too, and the fat inmate says, You know something? I think we'll see those boys again. Now outside the prison, Beavis and Butthead are in line with other students, walking back into the bus. As they stand waiting to board their school bus, they see another school bus pull up. Whoa, cool. Those guys are going inside. Butthead looks to Beavis as a thought bubble appears above their heads with an animation of a hand screwing in a light bulb. We're there, dude. Then the boys start walking over to the line of students entering the prison. Those guys will be really surprised to see us again. Prison is cool. 
And that is the end of Beavis and Butthead in Scared Straight. Now let's get into the music videos. The first music video is Breaking the Law by Judas Priest. And the boys first ask, what is this? Then when they see the singer of the band, Rob Halford, sitting in the car, they cheer, yes! The boys sing along with the chorus, breaking the law, breaking the law. And then as Rob Halford moves, Butthead wonders what he's doing with his shoulders. And Beavis says, he is a wild and crazy guy. Which then prompts Butthead to look at Beavis and say, that was stupid. Butthead says that he likes Judas Priest and all, but the video sucks. The next music video is The Damned by Plasmatics. And the video starts with a warning that the video should not be attempted at home. The boys seeing the warning, Butthead says that that means they're going to do something cool. Seeing fire, Beavis yells, Fire! 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 As a school bus runs into a wall of TVs, Butthead says, If our school bus did that, I'd go to school all the time. As the school bus blows up at the end, Beavis again yells, Fire! 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 And then Butthead says that it was really cool. And as the fire controversy came into effect later on in the series, this music video, The Damned by Plasmatics, got cut, and there were two alternate music videos uh, put in its place. The first alternate music video was the Highway to Hell live version by ACDC, and uh, this music video first appeared in the band episode Way Down Mexico Way Part 2, so we're not going to get into that one. Um, but another music video that came into play that was an alternate one was Lemon by U2. And this video starts off with the word men being showed on the screen. And the boys say that that's the word that's on the bathrooms, and they decide that the word men must mean crap. So as the video continues and shows the band members and other people, it narrates words at the bottom of the screen as to what the person on screen is doing. So as the word man singing appears, Butthead says, Crap is singing. Beavis says, Crap is on the telephone. Showing the bassist in the video, Butthead says, This turd found a guitar. And next, showing the drummer, Beavis adds, And this piece of crap is playing the drums. As the video continues and the boys start falling asleep, Butthead leans his head on Beavis' head. Butthead then wakes up, and then he smacks Beavis awake, and he calls him a dillweed. Beavis mentions that when he has a headache, he hits himself in the head, and it only makes it worse. Butthead says, You're pretty stupid, Beavis. Next time I have a headache, I'd like to try hitting you in the head. And the last music video is Punk Rock Girl by the Dead Milkmen, and Butthead says that it's horrible, and Beavis says that it's not so bad. Beavis later mentions that he could kick the singer of the Dead Milkmen's ass, and also beat Vince Neil. Butthead says... A real punk rock girl would eat this guy alive. And that's your music videos. Now let's get into the fun facts. Scared Straight was the second script that Christopher Brown wrote for Beavis and Butthead. Christopher wrote this episode based on an old show where kids would be brought into prison to be scared by prisoners that would yell at them. It was also inspired from an experience he had as a kid when his dad worked for the National Guard and at one point the National Guard were taking over youth detention centers in Wisconsin and on one drive he stopped by one of these youth detention centers with Chris in the car and Chris wound up standing in one of the dorms where all of these delinquent kids in this youth detention center were just staring at him. It scared Chris enough to not want to end up there, and this memory wound up being the seed of the idea for Beavis and Butthead in Scared Straight. As I did mention in the music videos, there was some censorship as the Phlegmatics music video did have a school bus blow up and Beavis was yelling, Fire! 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 So that whole video had to be cut and was replaced with a uh, U2 music video or ACDC 
whichever time you did watch the episode. This episode was officially released on the Final Judgment home video, and Scared Straight is the 11th episode of Season 3 of Beavis and Butthead, and it's the 42nd episode overall. And I am DB, the internet Scared Straight, a 7.9 out of 10 rating. Now, I'll give you my review. This is one of the classic episodes I remember seeing quite a lot watching the old VCR uh, recordings my dad did of the Beavis and Butthead Moronathons or whatever happened during the 90s. Yeah, it still stands up. It's a very, very solid episode. The new stuff that I don't remember as a kid was the band or cutout uh, music video which was very, very cool. But I, I it was I think the one I remember seeing as a kid had the ACDC Highway to Hell music video in it. The music videos were really good. I didn't see Lemon by U2 either, so uh, I got two for the price of one this time watching that. Talking about the story of Beavis and Butthead, um, it's a very solid, believable story, and it just takes it to the next level as you see... Two characters like Beavis and Butthead, with the intent, the principal's trying to get them scared to maybe set them on a better path. And what happens, though, it backfires in McVicker's face because <laughs> Beavis and Butthead wind up loving prison and hanging out with uh, inmates that are really cool and just want to hang out and rock. And uh, that is that is cool. <laughs> it, as a kid watching it, it makes you think, man... Prison does look like a cool place you want, would want to go. <laughs> I think the most memorable part of this episode is the guy that yells at the kids and pulls out his eyeball. And uh, As a kid, uh, I didn't know what a conjugal visit was, but I remember hearing that. And uh, years later, re-watching the episode, I'm like, oh, that's what that meant. All right, because I now know what a conjugal visit is. <laughs> I do want to say that the funniest part of this episode is when Butthead's trying to take a dump and everybody is just standing there watching and laughing at him. <laughs> I think about that sometimes when I take a dump in a public restroom and it's like, oh man, I, I would hate for people to just sit, sit, sit there and watch me while I try to, you know, take care of business. And it's like, how, how did Butthead do that? <laughs> he wound up pulling it off eventually, but... uh. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember laughing so much, hearing the other prisoners laugh. Their laughs is what's so funny about it, because they're just like, <laughs> look at them. <laughs> and so you got these big prisoners laughing at Butthead, and then Beavis is poking his little head out from the side, laughing as well, going, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, that's what friends are for, to laugh at you while you're trying to take a dump. <laughs> so I gotta say, this is a classic episode. It is definitely up there. I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. Very solid, funny all the way through. The music videos are great. Uh, great story to it. That is my final rating of Scared Straight, 9 out of 10. 